Well, what's up, my beautiful soul subscribers? How y'all doing today? I don't know if you guys can hear me. But today, I welcome you back with love and light, y'all. If it's your first time joining me, I hope you guys can hear me with all the music in the background. <laughs> all right, this reading is going to be how your person feels about you, my collective. Stop. How they feel about you. What? Don't pause it. What? No, they got it. We're going to see how this person's feeling about you, my collective. Are they in regrets? Are they missing you? Are they sorry? Are they not? All right. Well, the Isis Father God, as I open these rounds, give me clear, honest messages from my collective and how they person's feeling. All right. One. This person, you make this person happy. Okay. I feel like this is like a self-realization energy with this sun energy. Okay. Um, I also see as the magician energy as well. Okay. Uh, this person is trying to manifest you in my collective. Yeah. This person is trying to manifest you in. They want to heal something with you. This person could be an Aries, a Leo. This person could be Aquarius. Or they could be a Gemini. Mm-hmm. But they, they're trying to manifest you back in. They want another chance. They want another opportunity with you. Look at this nine. This is a ten. This person is spiritually connected now. They're fully aware spiritually of the connection that you and them have. All right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. What else is going on here, my collective? What else? How else is your person feeling about you? This person is manifesting you in. And now I realize how much you make them happy. Let's see what else we got. All right, we got a four. Yep, temperance energy here with this 14. This person want to heal a situation with you, my collective. They hoping that they can restore a situation with you, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, you see this five? This person is trying to muster up the courage to come through and talk to you, okay? Um... Like I said, they're, they're talking to the Most High God. I feel like this person has learned their spiritual lesson as well. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. This person is awake now. They're woken. I feel like this person has to deal with a lot of their ego. They have to shed their ego, their pride. Okay, this person is very... Um, what would I say? This person likes to have control. And they're realizing that they got to relinquish the control. Okay, if they want to be with you, they got to relinquish this. This got to be an equal give and take with the four. There's got to be balance. So this could be a Sagittarius as well, my collective. Or this person uh, could be uh, a Sagittarius, a Leo, like I said, an Aries. Uh, they could even be an Earth sign, Capricorn. Okay, yeah. But they ready. They ready. This person is mustering up the courage to come towards you. Yeah, they want this relationship. They want to give, they want a partnership with you. They want to give you something long-term and stable. Remember when I said they got to give you something equal, give and take? That's that balance right here, okay? Yeah. This person was dealing with a lot of deceptions and lies and secrets. This person deceived you. They lied to you. They kept a lot of secrets from you, right? Yeah, but they don't know that, that can't work anymore. Yeah, because you're very intuitive with that high priestess energy. All right, this person can't come to you with no BS because you're intuitive. Your intuition is on point. So this person knows they, that you can see right through them. You can see right through the lies, the deceptions, and the secrets. All right, you're very powerful and you're very strong. All right, there with that Leo energy I was talking about, fifth house. Okay, you're very powerful. You're very strong, and you're gonna stand firm on your decision. Oh, and some of y'all are going to stand firm in your decision of what you made over with this person. And you're, yeah, because they, they betrayed you. They, some of them had you in a second a partnership here. Okay? Yeah. Uh-huh. But they know you're very, you're very intuitive. Okay? This could be a Pisces or a Cancer as well. Okay? They know you can see right through them. All right? Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you, this person knows that you got your boundaries up as well, but they're now ready to come and speak the truth. This is like a Queen of Swords. King of Swords, but it's also representing of that Mercury energy. This person is absolutely thinking about you. This person got a lot of downloads. They're, 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 they're letting go of their old beliefs. You see what I'm saying? This is like the crown chakra for me, okay? They letting go. They letting go. So I feel like this person is thinking about you a lot. You know, they're all up in their head about you. They regret um, walking away from you to my collective. They absolutely regret this. So they're doing some inner reflecting. Now they're reflecting. Now they're reassessing their decisions that they made about you, my collective, okay? Yeah, they, they regret that. Now they want to heal a situation with you, okay? 
some of them had you in another relate a partnership and they know that they the person that they chose their goal seven this person know now the spiritual connection and that with this energy they wish that they had um they want to come and make things right but they know if they don't make things right they're going to keep getting that karma see that hangman energy spirit is going to have them in this karmic energy they have to hold themselves responsible for the actions that they took towards you so this is a hangman energy judgment you feel me so they're going to get a spiritual ass and until they apologize to you, my collective they're not going to they, they things ain't going to be right in their life things are not going to be right in their life you feel me no it's not no it's not look at all these sevens they know they got to make it right with you because they deceived you they hurt you they lied to you you feel me yeah all right let's get the tarot on it let's get the tarot on it what did I tell you about that strength right there? They know your strength. They know you're very powerful. You're standing in your power. This person was afraid of you as well because they feel as if this person is yo used to being a leader. This person is used to having control. Um, you not only intimidate them by your strength, but also they feel like you was going to be able to... Um, they didn't want to be submissive. And they feel like that you were um, trying to tame them. But it's not that. You just got that divine energy. You feel me? Yeah, this is what they're dealing with. A lot of toxicity, all right? Dealing with their deceptions. Their deception lies in secrets, could be addictions, um, sexual energy. Um, they have sexual addictions, alcohol addictions, whatever it is. But this person is obsessively thinking about you, okay? Capricorn energy here, all right? Yeah, yeah, who you are. Didn't I tell you that divine energy? Look at that empress energy. You're abundant. You're wise. You've risen to the occasion. You know your self-worth. Didn't I say you're that divine energy? High priestess energy? Okay, you woke. Your intuition is on point. You feel me? Yeah. So we're going to keep that. We're going to keep the strength of the devil card. Look at that. Didn't I say the five of cups? They regret it. They regret it. But now spirit got them in this hangman energy. You feel me? Yeah. They got to take, take responsibility for their actions because you're not allowing them in. Okay? With that strength, you're too powerful. Okay? Your love is abundant. And they wanted to have you a part of these seven of cups. They wanted you under the illusion. They wanted you as an option. Ain't no, there ain't no options, baby. This is what they had. Every option they went out there, they ran into. It was all, it was all deception, lies, and deceivement. That's that deception, lies, and secrets. Okay. This is what they're used to. You feel me? This is what they're used to. But how do you, how you want to try? There's no comparing when there's no competing. You feel me? This is what you was offering them, and they wanted to keep you in this right here. You know what I'm saying? This person wanted to keep their options open. You know, they didn't want to emotionally invest. You feel me? Yeah. Yeah, now they would love another opportunity with you. You feel me? Yeah, nine of wands. This is how they're feeling right now. They're feeling dragged out. They're feeling burnt out. They're feeling weary. Okay? They're trying to find the strength to find the courage to keep it pushing as well. They really are trying to find it because this is how they feel about you. King of Cups. But this person was holding back on you. You feel me, my collective? Yeah. So with the world card, you decide to close out this cycle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You decide to close this out. You're done. So this person is fiending right now. I'm telling you, you got me fiending. Uh, there you go. Tell me what you need. Mm. Tell me if it ain't good enough for you, baby. You're launching forward. This person is coming towards you, my collective. This person is conquering their fears. They're conquering their demons. They're conquering their addictions. Okay? Because they ain't got no choice. They're ready to launch forward. They're ready to balance out the polarities. You feel me? Yeah. Mm. Hi. Ace of Swords, baby. They got the mental clarity. They see the truth now. They're seeing things from a higher perspective. Feel me? Yeah. They're working on securing the bag, though, my collective. They're definitely working on saving up some money and securing the bag because they want to come correct. They only, they only, they don't only want to come in with this Ace of Cups, but they want to come in with mental clarity, and they also want to come in with securing the bag. You feel me? All right, yeah. Some of them is working on getting a new vehicle. All right, they want to come in, yeah, because this is who they are. This is who they coming back as, my collective. They coming full rounded. You feel me? And they're hoping that you would give them a chance, because the world card means yes. They're hoping that you would say yes, because they let you know that they closing out these old cycles. You feel me? Yeah. All right, there you go, High Priestess. There you go, Divine Femme. You know what I'm saying? This person is now spiritually woke because they know where you at. They know you on this level and they got to step up to this level to meet you. There you go, High Priest, High Priestess. All right, this person know they got to step up to your level. You spiritually aligned, they have to be spiritually aligned. It's time to see things from a higher perspective and there with that chariot, like I was saying right here. There it is, baby. There it is. You know what I'm saying? They got to match this energy. So this person is ready to come in. 
And with that sun energy, King of Wands, this person is taking leadership. But see, this person thought that they was going to keep uh, turning their back on you and that they, you were going to keep stroking their ego. And they're realizing that's not going to work. You feel me? They can't come in with this spontaneous energy on you. They ain't going to have that. So here they are now with this King of Wands energy. They're finding the courage to take leadership and take action in their life. You know what I'm saying? They're leaving the little boy ways behind. And see, that's the truth. They want to build a successful life with you. They want to work. And there go that Ten of Pentacles, baby. There go that hangman. That's that hangman I was talking about. You know what I'm saying? This person is sitting right here and getting some enlightenment and now realizing that they were the cause of this deception and the hurt. You know what I'm saying? But see, they don't understand when they put you in this position, my collective, it was only not only to awaken you, but also to awaken them. So this person has ascended, okay? They're ready to come and give you the end all be all. They want to build a successful life with you, okay? But like I said, this person is working. They're building. They're focused on their pinnacles right now. But they want to come back and build long-term stability with you. This is what they want to give you, a ten of pinnacles, happy life. You feel me? Yeah. Eight of cups. They're walking away from all things that no longer serve them. They let go of all the emotional baggages that they had. You know what I'm saying? From their past, from their childhood, from everyone. You feel me? Yeah. They're walking away from that. All right? Yeah, back to the hangman. And y'all could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. All right? Yeah. All right, let's get the um, Yin Yang Oracle, baby. Tell me, tell me what you want. Tell me what you need. See, I told you they have to let go of the past baggages. You know what I'm saying? Being stuck in the past and feeling in lack and suffering. All right? So this person knows that they have to know their self-worth. All right? They're starting to expect nothing less of others because they're now starting to understand themselves. They're starting to understanding self-love. That's that Ace of Cups. You feel me? But they got a lot of love for you and they know they got to meet your energy. What you want? You hear that song? Tell me. This is where you at, my collective. This is where your person is heading now. North Node, they're ascending. They're finding their purpose. This is the person right here. Their masculine energy. You see that? This is my hermit card. All right? Yeah, they finally get in that breakthrough. They have that epiphany. They've awakened. They've awakened. This is how they were acting closed off and guarded and resistant, but they're closing out that cycle right now. Okay? Yeah. Because this person is now knowing their own self worth. And with that sun card, this person is finding the inner strength. They're, they're, they're empowering themselves because why? They know this is how you are. You are self-empowered. Your strength is undeniable. You feel me? It's beyond your beauty. It's beyond the flesh. Okay? So this past energy right here, this lack of suffering, no. They want to offer this to you right now. So they know they got to let go of this right here and close out them cycles. And this is what they want to offer to you now. You feel me? This is what I told you. They want to build with you a family. They're ready to commit. Okay? So that's what I have for you. Some of y'all, if you can still procreate, you guys are going to end up pregnant, okay? See that sun card here twice. All right, fate. This is destiny. This is festin. But it's a divine intervention. Everything happens in divine timing. This is destiny, all right? This is fate. But you have to leave this person behind, my collective. You have to close out the cycle with this person in order for them to find themselves, okay? And that's why their higher self is being activated, and now they want your forgiveness, and they want to come back in and apologize, all right? So that's what I have for you, my collective. Yeah, they got that third eye. They got that clarity. That's that ace of swords, all right? They definitely want a renewal with you, honey. All right? This is an Aquarius, all right, for some of y'all. But spirit is assisting this person. Spirit is, yeah, they're ready to take action. But I told you them inner childhood wounds, they had a lot of healing to do, okay? So here it is again. Spiritual healing. Their spirit is guiding them. They're getting spiritual assistance. They're getting a lot of downloads. They're getting a lot of messages. This person could be coming up in your dreams as well, my collective. All right. But now this is the breakthrough that they're receiving through this healing. OK, they're receiving that breakthrough, that epiphany. All right. And this is where they're heading because they know this is where you're at. So I feel like your person is catching up to you. All right. Like I said, they're finding that courage to take action. Feel me? All right, my collective. I wish you guys love and light. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye.